So you're looking to make a fresh start in the new year and you're going to separate from your spouse or your partner. And one question that we often get is, how do I tell them that this relationship is over? And there is no easy way to tell your spouse or partner that you want out of the relationship, out of the marriage. They may or may not be seeing it coming. If they have been seeing it coming, they're often in denial that you're actually going to do it. And it's not going to go particularly well, more than likely. But there are some things that you can do to try to make it go more smoothly. Number one, try to stick to the facts as you know them and what your plans are and try to avoid the emotions of why you're leaving, whose fault it is, did somebody cheat, and stuff like that. And some of the facts that would help you talk to this person is, are you leaving? And if you are leaving, where are you going? When are you moving? Who are you going to live with? What is your plan for paying the bills, your budget bills at your new place? How much can or will you contribute to the home that you are leaving based on the bills you're gonna have at the new place? If you are the primary earner and you are leaving, you know, it's going to be very important that you discuss with the person who's not the primary earner who is staying what the bills are. Oftentimes, the primary earner is the one who pays the bills, and the person being left has no idea what the power bill is, the water bill is, the mortgage is, the car insurance. So if you're the one paying those bills and you're the one that's leaving, you need to educate the person that is going to be there as to what the bills are and which bills you will be able to continue to pay. Also, be prepared to discuss what you believe would be a good custodial arrangement between the parents, whether it be 50-50, 60-40. Just talk about what you would like to see the custodial arrangement will be so that both parents, including the parent that is getting left, knows that they're going to still be able to see and be actively involved in their children's lives. It is very important to try to stick to the facts and not the emotions when having this conversation. And I know that is almost impossible, but if you can just keep going back to the facts as to what you can do, what you will do, what you will not do, it will help you work through this discussion, which will be emotional and will probably be several discussions, but the facts are more important than the emotions.